at its first developer conference ever, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman took to the stage, noting it's been less than a year since the launch of the groundbreaking ChatGPT chatbot. Altman kept up the pace by announcing a new version, ChatGPT4 Turbo, which allows users to input three times as much material in a single prompt as before. That means you can essentially input a 300-page book and, for example, ask GPT-4 Turbo to summarize it. We are just as annoyed as all of you, probably more, that GPT-4's knowledge about the world ended in 2021. We will try to never let it get that out of date again. GPT-4 Turbo has knowledge about the world up to April of 2023, and we will continue to improve that over time. OpenAI also introduced personalized GPTs, which allow developers or even people who don't know how to code to build their own chat GPT agents for specific purposes. You can, in effect, program a GPT with language just by talking to it. It's easy to customize the behavior so that it fits what you want. GPT-4 Turbo also comes with six AI voice choices with natural language abilities that are strikingly human. Did you know that Alexander Graham Bell, the eminent inventor, was enchanted by the world of sounds? An entire ecosystem of startups like AI assistant builder RealChart is hoping OpenAI allows them to better use GPT's platform rather than compete directly with them. When they build ChatGPT, then when they build those tools, they want like uh, ordinary people, like uh, they will be able to use the, the technology. Right, so that's why it aligns with a lot of developers like, like, like me, like a lot of people. So we want to see how OpenAI is going to help us you know, to be easier to reach to the ordinary users. How generative AI companies train their models has created controversy. In fact, in July, comedian Sarah Silverman and three other authors filed a lawsuit against OpenAI and Meta, alleging that their AI systems illegally ingested their copyrighted books. OpenAI at the developer conference today took on this issue by introducing something called Copyright Shield. Copyright Shield means that we will step in and defend our customers and pay the costs incurred if you face legal claims around copyright infringement. It's certainly a bold statement to make. Now, of course, the, the real interesting bit is something they didn't share, which is the details of exactly how that would work. They want to give confidence to developers, and I think they're also clearly aiming at professional large companies to, to reassure them that using these models or building models off of what they've already built uh, is safer than ever and legally uh, protected. Altman closed by calling AI a technological and societal revolution, likening it to having superpowers on demand. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco. To make it easier to build assistive experiences with your own app.